All right, guys, as promised, here's the second part of the video, and this is installing the backup camera. I told you I'd set, show you how to set up your camera. Your little guy right over here. Uh, the camera to your stereo. And so I've got a little mock-up here. So let me pick up the camera here and I'll show you how we're going to do this. Okay, first off, if I can get my camera just right. Okay, we're going to have these the your harness wiring harness plugged in and then this is your video cable like I said uh, and that's going to be plugged in to this little adjacent spot there and then you've got your video cable that needs to run all the way back this is going to get plugged into here and then you're going to have this little wire hanging out and I'll show you where that's going to go and that goes on your wiring harness here and this this one the wiring harness is labeled back which is the backup uh, for or the for the video that's um, uh, it's your camera and it's just labeled back so that's gonna go uh, some of them might say camera backup camera uh, like I said this one says back but that one's gonna go connected to this little guy so that's going to uh, like I said earlier speak to the camera when you put it in reverse to switch on the camera so like I said this goes to there that goes to there then you run your cable all the way out to wherever you're going to mount your camera this end connects into what's connected to the cable or the camera so that one yellow to yellow then you have this little guy hanging out here and this little extra guy over here which actually will plug into this guy and this is these this is all in the kit here this gets plugged into the, the red spot here and here's your uh, backup it's obviously not the actual backup light on your truck uh, or mine but this is just a mock-up and it's got two wires and usually they're uh, uh, red and uh, excuse me green and white while mine's right here are green and uh, brown so it's uh, for this instance it's going to be green uh, and the brown is going to be white uh, so this is going to be the power positive and this is going to be the negative which is the white and so this little guy the end here these these get split because there's a red and a black here and the red is power positive or positive uh, the uh, black is negative so this gets connected into your backup light uh, the red going to the power positive on the the backup light and the black going to the negative and this little guy over here like i said that was attached to your your uh, cable that's going all the way to the back the video cable that's get plugged into there this goes also to the power positive on your uh, light also so you got two two connections to that that light that you're going to have to make so pretty simple uh and i will show you how to uh, it looks in my truck and where I'm going to mount the camera and it's going to make it so much easier uh, than what a lot of videos out there have. So let me get to it. All right guys, here's the backup wiring that I said that I uh, was going to have to uh, run for my um, uh, backup camera. And it's this this one single wire, and this is all hooked up into. Uh, let's see, get this out of the way there. Uh, this is hooked up into the spot where it goes to the, your stereo uh, to um, tell the uh, stereo that you do have a camera, 
and then this goes into your wiring harness here and I uh, my earlier video shows uh, why I did this and the, the reasoning behind it and uh, where they're supposed to go so this video is going to go on uh, how I'm going to route this this wiring uh, to go back to the camera itself and uh, I'm going to go through the actual hole for the opening for the stereo and then come down underneath the dash and then uh, let me get into better position and I'll show you there's a spot here in the firewall get better position here there's a spot underneath here uh, the brake is to my right and the emergency brake pedal is over here to the left and right up underneath here way up on the top here there's going to be a break in your firewall a piece of rubber here that you can go through and I'm going to go through there and then take it down through uh, the engine bay and go all the way back to the rear camera uh, by the license plate and the reasoning I'm going to do that is because uh, um, Honda says that uh, you have to, or they want you to come out and go around here, take all this uh, molding off, this molding off, uh, come around to the back, in the back, and let me show you here. Let me open up the back door. Oops. I need to unlock it first. That's going to help. Take the molding off of here. Go back through here, take the molding down here, take the back seat all the way out, and then there should be an opening that you can go pass through here, and then you got to come back over here, and uh, of course this is the other side, but you got to take uh, all that off, this back off uh, here, um, and then run your wiring uh, through there. And then down over here, take your back bumper off. Uh, over here, take the bumper off. And then come up through here. And and then you got to drill holes through your tailgate and stuff. I'm like, I, I'm not doing that. That is just crazy. So like I said, uh, I'm going to go through the firewall and into the engine bay over here. And then down underneath and then all the way underneath along the frame rails and of course I'm gonna make it all look nice and pretty and then come back right up underneath here and I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this very good but there's a little spot back over here uh, right down here that I'm gonna come up and behind the tailgate here and then mount it right underneath the tailgate because there's going to be some space underneath here and I've already done it where I mounted the the uh, camera and opened up the tailgate to see if the, you would get any interference and it doesn't interfere so that's where it's going to be located is right underneath there right under right by the license plate and uh, so we're going to see how that works out and of course like I said I'm going to use uh, whoops uh, wrapping uh, wiring wrapping to make sure that that uh, there's no moisture that's going to get underneath and corrode the lines so um, that's not going to be a concern uh, and uh, it's going to be it's going to take way less time than it would if i went through the actual car and through this this spot here and all the way back to there so let me uh, get off of here and uh, I'll show you here in just a second. Okay guys, quick little update. I ran the wiring through the firewall, which came in through here, and then I wrapped it in this, uh, pointing directly at it, wrapped it in this wiring protecting stuff here, protective wire wrap, and it's this happens to be 14 foot long, and then I routed it back behind the uh, brake uh, master cylinder and down uh, through the bottom here 
and then let me go underneath the vehicle and out along the bottom here right here and then I'm going to zip tie it to the lines that are running along the frame and let me turn you around here they're running along the frame all the way down to the back there and that's where I'm going to mount this guy and like I said zip tie it up there so it's up out of the way it's not going to be uh, involved in uh, any moving parts uh, so it's going to be up nice up out of the way and zip tied to existing lines that are going to the back and I recommend that you wrap it before you um, start running it down underneath to the frame because then it, it's so much easier to do it that way all right guys I ran into my first little hump in the road here and it's because I ran out of space uh, not space but the length of my cable to go all the way to the back here and they only gave me a certain amount uh, in the kit and that came with the stereo and it didn't reach all the way uh, this is the one that I had to purchase to extend it because it stopped right here which is right by my wheel that's not going to go all the way to the back here so it wasn't that big of a deal because I bought one of these which is an RCA extension ad adapter and all it is is this little guy right here and it goes on the ends of these guys to extend this so you can put another one in there and then I just bought another six foot cable which was more than enough of the audio video cable and then just needed this this part right here uh, didn't cost that much and it, it extended it out and of course I've already wrapped it up with the protective wiring so now it will reach all the way to the back and more so I have plenty so that's just a quick little update right now I'm still putting it up uh, it's following the the lines of the um, frame here and I'm just tucking it underneath there and I'll show you how I where I had actually put it up there but I'm just tucking it underneath there and putting some zip ties up there and routing it all the way back and like I said I'm gonna be coming right back up through here either there or over here but I'll let you know and show you um, and there's where the camera is gonna be just right above there Alright guys, so now I'm at the step where I need to mount the camera on the spot where I said I was going to mount it, which is going to be right here. And I know uh, that's on the tailgate, and I know you think, oh man, that, that would hit the, the actual um, bed when you close it. Well, the camera only sticks out about right here, and I uh, had it stuck on there before with some 3M tape, and I pushed the tailgate up, and it did not affect that area whatsoever so it's fine and dandy to mount it right there and it's not going to hurt anything you just obviously the only thing that you got to have to worry about is if you load a lot of stuff in your your uh, back of your vehicle this spot you're going to have to watch out and that's the only consideration versus mounting it underneath like everybody else does on the the um the face of the tailgate itself itself so uh what the way to do this because when you mount it right here you're gonna have to go through the bottom part here and i don't want to hit any wires in here just in case and obviously I gotta, you got to mount it uh, the right way so what you're going to have to do and what i've already done is taken off the top rail of the tailgate I didn't show you guys that, but I can just stick it on here for right now and show you real fast. Basically, it's hooked on by four screws, and they're just regular screws. And there's one, two, three, and four. You take those out, and then you take 
a rubber mallet or whatever you want that doesn't mark up this back surface here and it's on the left hand side and you just gently tap it and it'll start you'll notice it starts sliding to the right and that's how it comes off it slides to the right and uh, you probably maybe an inch or two and then you can just pull it right off and the way it's held on let me get these are by these little clips and they're in here like this they slide into this little area here so when you take it off they'll actually be stuck in um, in this section here where they actually go into and it's these little guys right here and they're stuck they're actually stuck in here so they don't come off and then I'll, what you have to do is tilt them to the side and then pull them out because you want to pull them all out and then when you're ready to put it back in you want to slide these into this little these little grooves all these little grooves right here you slide it in there and then I'll show you when I go to put it back on then you pop it back in without uh, uh, just pop it in directly straight without having to push it in there and then go into the left because then that that doesn't work so that's the only way to put them back on is stick these little guys in there and then there's bigger bolts which I will show you right over here these guys and it's a star uh, setting in there so you have to use one of these allen wrenches but it's not an allen wrench it's got the star on there and I don't know exactly what size sorry but um, they're in here like this and there's one two three four five six seven eight so there's eight of those and once you take those out then you can just lift your tailgate up and you're good to go and then I'll be mount like I said mounting it on the bottom over here and the only thing else that you got to do is take off this because I'm going to be routing my wires to come up through here and um, tap into the backup uh, two wires in the backup for right here so this is where, gonna, where I'm going to draw my positive power and the negative ground uh, for uh, this little guy right here that comes with the camera this little guy and on the end there it has the two wires the positive and the negative so you have to hook up those two the positive and the negative to this as well as that remember I told you the um, there's that little red wire on the end of this guy too and that red wire goes to the same spot the positive on this also the positive uh, so there's the positive to there and the positive to this guy to the positive of that and then the negative wire goes to the negative side of this and there's no negative to that one so that's it but I'll show you when I get all this stuff off and to take the tail light assembly off there's just two nuts one right there and one right there you can see that and then this this pulls right out kind of got to gently rock it back and forth that way and it'll come right out so I'll show you that here in just a second okay that's where I tapped in right here to the video line and then right here is where that red line was and I tapped into that and I'm going to bring that back up to the taillight assembly okay after running the wire through the taillight assembly it's off and I zip tied it there I ran it through here 
and it's in the protective lining and then I came in and I tapped into this is the the backup light and this is the power positive which is the red and the the green and the black is the um, ground so I uh, just snipped it right there this is where it comes it goes into the factory uh, assembly there I snipped it right there and then uh, soldered in the connections that I brought up and soldered it right there and then of course wrapped each individual individual one and then wrapped the whole thing so it's nice and and secure there and it's not going to ground out on anything and so that's how that's ran and then all I have to do is mount the assembly back in there pushing the wires back in there and then we're good to go on that and then I put installed the camera as you can tell I took off the back of the um, the tailgate there this back part you can see it's uh, and then I just reversed it uh, flipped it over so I could access the the inside here and there's just nothing in here all it is is just the metal frame there and uh, took some screws and went right through just mounted the, the camera just two screws right here and mounted that camera and then put on little clips so it secures it in the back there and these clips are just what I got in this kit right here and this is from Harbor Freight and all it is is a U-clip and screw assortment so that's all I did let's just mount them just like that and then I'm gonna flip it over and I'll show you what else I did okay guys I got the camera mounted and I decided to go back and put these cable ties on here and they're just regular cable ties that you put inside your house but I modified them and put machine screws in there so it goes into the the uh, metal here and it's not going anywhere and then I ran the cable down and just to make sure that uh, you don't think I'm lying here I uh, can see this is in the tailgate itself uh, it won't hit so you can watch this I'll lift the tailgate up and see goes right past it it's got plenty of room and then underneath here that's where she's mounted I'll go ahead and close that up and there it is just underneath there and of course you see the cable ties and it's going through here this is just a hold uh, so you don't see my license plate uh, but the cable runs back down here and then there's a, a spot down back behind the license plate that you can just run through and underneath here uh, the bumper so you can attach the other wires but when you go to look at it straight on see you can't see anything underneath there it's uh, you know you won't see the cable ties or anything like that unless you were to get way underneath here and then you'll be able to see it so don't worry about uh, it looking funny because people won't be able to see it unless they get on their belly and then look underneath and they'll go oh, okay yeah you got cable ties okay so there you go with that and then uh, like I said I brought the wires underneath here so let me get underneath here there are the wires that stick through and here's that one wire that I told you they needed to um, plug in and take over uh, run your cables that you we did to the stop um, backup light and so these two are coming back over here and so I just tied it into the positive power positive and negative and uh, and then then just ran the uh, the video feed which is that line and plug that in and you're it that's done so all I'm gonna do is uh, wrap this up but before I do because everything is done I'm gonna go ahead and plug in the assembly light uh, the tail light uh, I had disconnected that so I'm gonna plug that in and let me show you what I did I unplugged that that goes to the assembly here and takes two seconds I'm gonna plug that back in and then I'm gonna hop in to my truck and 
make sure that when I turn on the stereo uh, and I put it into reverse, everything is all good. All right, guys, and here's the big test. Sorry, I'm shaky here. Here's the big test uh, to see if uh, it works or not. So I'm going to get the keys, put them in the car, turn on the accessory up, oh, and there's the stereo and it works, yay. And then let's go ahead and put it, oh, what's it saying here? Oh, it's gonna already go to music. Oh, sounds good. Okay, so we'll turn that off and then let's put it into reverse, see if our camera works. Bingo! Camera works. All right, so we're good to go. Take that out of there. All right, and we'll shut her down. All right, so the next step now is to button everything up. Um, so I'm going to go and stop this and uh, then I can put back my screws in here on the sides there and then stick the dash in and connect all the connectors that I had taken out over here uh, and that'll be it for the inside and then the outside I'm going to go ahead and let me show you button up all the stuff that I had uh, put in making sure everything's all good to go uh, put this back in the assembly back in there and just make everything it make sure everything is all uh, connected and good to go uh, all the trim pieces are back in uh, I've got to put this back in and like I said that's just straight up just pop, popping it back in um, uh, putting back the clips and popping it back in and then we're good to go all right guys well everything's all buttoned up and I checked everything and made sure it was all good to go so we are done job well done and everything looks good and so I guess this is it thanks very much for watching and hit that like button and subscribe please